Uh, hey everybody, um, just picked up a new toy the other day, a Wasser 10 AK-47. Um, as you can see, the guy I purchased it off of has put a nice, uh, just beautiful finish on it. And I know uh, AK-47s aren't supposed to be pretty, but hey, you know, whenever you see one this pr beautiful, I mean, it's kind of hard to pass up, you know. But I, and I'm, plus I got it for a d really good price, $450. I know the the Wasser tens are not the um, the um, top notch AK 47s I guess, which I know this is a Century International and they have their problems as well. And I know, but uh, the ones I guess everybody is saying that are good are the Wasser ten sixty threes. This is the Wasser ten, but uh, I have put around four hundred rounds through it. It seems like it's uh, doing a good job. It does have the uh, inside here. It does have the the uh, the magazine lips on there so to keep them um, uh, wobble to a minimum uh, but I, I'll discuss more about that here in just a second I'm gonna hand you off to my daughter Cadence so we can uh, uh, so she can videotape me as, as we go ahead and do finish out this gun review okay now inside here we do have the mag lip feed but these metal magazines They still give a little bit of wobble to it. I mean, not bad. I've seen some of them where they just shake and almost come out. But these these still get a little wobble. But I went and bought a SIG 556R that's also chambered in 7.62x39. And uh, I noticed that they take AK magazines. So I went in and put it in. And that thing is in there solid. I mean, it's not moving at all. The movement that you see is the actual entire gun movement. And so it's 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 not moving at all. So I uh, noticed that whenever I was at the store uh, later on that day, I noticed that they have the what these magazines are for are called are Bulgarian mags. They're the plastic magazine. So you know I've heard people say that they've had luck with Tam uh, Tamco. Uh, I think think this Tapco. That's it. Uh, yeah, Tapco. I'm looking at the trigger because that's also manufactured by Tapco. I've heard a lot of people say that they've had luck with Tapco um, uh, magazines, but uh, but uh, these are not Tapco. These are Bulgarian. So, you know, I, I encourage anybody who has any mag wobble, you know, try try out different magazines because if I hadn't had this other one laying around, I would have just assumed that, you know, the, the magazine wobbled a little bit. So, um, it, it, I am happy with the firearm. Uh, Everything seems to operate real well. I have cleaned it out. Um, that's the reason why all this dirt is actually out here on the table. Whenever I first purchased it, the guy before me didn't clean it. and I put a towel down, and it, what I use this towel for is kind of wipe off the, all my you know, gun parts as I pull them out before I put them in solvent or to wipe the stuff off after they've been put in solvent. But uh, it seemed to do the good job. Um, it is missing its cleaning equipment in the buttstock here uh, it does have the cleaning rod but uh, I mean I can sure I can find an aftermarket one or something that I can purchase to to put inside there. Um, everything seems to go well um, all the serial numbers match uh, I, I do encourage anybody uh, who wants to get out and shoot some cheap rounds uh, I shoot tow ammo and also I, sh I encourage people to use Yugo, Yugo uh, they're, they're called Yugos uh, they're also chambered in 762 by 39 I bought 180 for about 50 bucks, which isn't bad uh, for, the, for the dollar. Uh, and there's also a guy, he, he sells them for 90 for, a, for a 90, of, 90 count for $39, or 30, $30, that's what it is. And he gives you a discount if you buy 180 and an even bigger discount if you buy 270 But um they are corrosive ammo, but I encourage people to, to just clean out your guns every time. I mean, if you want to take care of your guns, because one day you want them to take care of you. And, you know, that's, I mean, I know that a lot of people say that, but it's true. You know, the last thing you want to do is ever need to depend on a weapon and and, and it not, uh, it failed to, failed to function on you. Um, I've done that, you know, before. And it's not, it's not fun getting out whenever you're, especially whenever you're about to show somebody you know, show off your new guns, and all of a sudden it's not 
it's not producing in front of people and you're about to show it off to people that you're proud of. I, I did that with my SIG 556R. My brother-in-law, we uh, went out and we were going to shoot and I was like, man, I got this new weapon. I got to show it to you. And I pulled it out and it was shoot or one round. And I was like, what's going on? Why will it not? The receiver wouldn't even go back to you, Jack. And come find out whenever I was cleaning it, I put the... Uh, the the gas the gas rod in upside down so the holes were facing actually up so it wasn't the gas wouldn't come back in and eject the eject the shell but uh I really am happy with the buy um, I encourage any any comments on the page let's all be civil let's be honest guys the reason why we get on YouTube and look at other guns is because we're curious and uh, I mean whether or not we should buy a certain rifle or how rifles are working for others that or for they're having the same kind of problems you know let's all be civil we all support the second amendment um, and that's the reason why we all uh, you know get on here and check each other's guns out so um, I appreciate it uh, I, I, I really thank you all for uh, taking time to look at it and you have a good day and God bless